all right guys welcome back so let's go ahead and set up our um, global control the global control will be very similar to the ones we set up in the 2017 rigging tutorial list uh, there we have a bunch of sliders to control the eyebrow up and down uh, so let's go ahead and do that uh, in this case though we're not going to do a blend shape on the face uh, we're going to do blend shape on the nervous okay uh, of course you can do that on the face also if you wanted to do that uh, or you can do it over here um, this should all work but the ribbon is a bit easier and uh, that also uh, will have a much smoother transition uh, from our local severe controllers to the global control so let me show the geometry here right the nervous ribbon geometry and then we're going to give it a blend shape in the shape editor let me create a blend shape and call this guy eyebrow ribbon blend shapes at a target and I can call this guy ribbon eyebrow up okay and then for this guy I'm just gonna go grab the vertices and have a big soft selection and just drag them up okay and maybe a little bit more in the middle right so that's gonna be the eyebrow up you can do some more tweaking here uh, if you wanted to but basically we're just trying to use the nervous shape now to control the eyebrow shape up and down okay so I guess this is okay maybe we can uh, make the middle part arc up just a bit more we can turn on symmetry okay anyway so that's gonna be the eyebrow up go back here to the shape and we can create a new target turn off that we can call this guy eyebrow down right? and then for the down one we basically uh, grab the vertices again and drag them downwards okay and then here I can also go fine tune the shape by going to the component mode and then just fine tune the shape so we can maybe make that go down a little bit maybe that goes down a little bit too much I can also grab the edge and also make them go down okay it's probably a little bit too much overboard but let's push the poses uh, but the pose a bit further than they actually need to be <laughs> all right cool so that's going to be another uh, blend shape right so we have two blend shapes up and down all right now it's time to use it's the time to use another code that we devised uh, from the previous rigging tutorial series we have that already right uh, that's going to be the blend divider so let me go ahead and open the script and grab the blend divider version 1.0 and then run this guy and a window will pop up this guy here so what you want to do here is grab the model and then make sure that you specify the amount of divisions you want to go for i need eight so i have four on each side the name base will be abra right and then we can uh, also check out the specify base shape we don't have a blend shape on the model and it's going to be automatically able to find out the original shape so don't check that uh, destination blend shape will be this guy so right click here and select the blend shape node and add this guy over here right uh, that should be everything so let me grab the geometry using object mode right and then create plans oh actually uh, it's saying it's telling me there's no difference because I didn't check that out okay so we have to go to one of the blend shapes all right and now let's go ahead and click on the create plans it's gonna create eight plans to subdivide the model into those different uh, chunks and then when when we're happy with that you can move them around if you wanted to have a uneven distribution but I'm okay with this right and then I'm gonna say uh, grab the model again and make blend shapes uh, eight blend shapes will then be created also eight controllers will be created down there on the origin at the origin <laughs> let me control G to group them together and call it AC Abra uh, GRP and then I can move this guy uh, up to where the face is maybe scale them up also drag them over here all right cool now I can turn off the original eyebrow up blend shape and use my sliders to control the eyebrow up 
right? Just the same thing we did actually, now applied on the nervous. Okay, so let me go zero that out, zero the controllers out, and drag up the eyebrow down. For the eyebrow down, we're going to use the same setup, but this time we're going to check out the positive direction because we want to do negative direction this time. Grab the, uh, the nervous and then create plane. And this time we want to use also the same controllers. So here there is the, a, a little hint here. You just need to uh, select the controllers, add select the controllers if you want to use those. Check out positive is going to extend the negative directions. So what we do is grab the nervous curve, uh, the nervous surface, holding on shift and grab individual controllers from left to right. Okay, you ha it does have to be in this order. And then you just make blend shapes one more time. Oops, got an arrow here. Okay, let's control Z to go back. Um, so that's up already. Maybe I select the wrong thing. Let me try that again. Right, grab the the nervous right, and then the controllers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we go for abro and probably need to cut the app brought down. That's probably why. <laughs> okay, let's make blend shapes. You can see now they're doing the right thing. So here before we should actually use app brought up. Okay, cool. Uh, so now you can see our controller are extended. Let me move those guys up and we can close that now. And we can also disable the original uh, blend shape that we have. And we have eight, actually 16 blend shape now here and they are all having a little chunk. And we can go ahead and hat the ribbon also. Okay. And then our controller are now able to control different portion of the abra. Right, just to do one little setup here, we can grab the controllers and tilt them this way. Right. And then grab the other three on the outside, tilt them again a little bit more. I'm selecting the group on top. Okay. So hit up arrow button after you select these guys, right? And then you rotate them. All right. So the, the same trick we were doing uh, in the previous basic rigging tutorial. Probably can also code this so I don't have to do this anymore. <laughs> All right, so one more. Cool, so that way we can grab the controllers and do this uh, moment here, you can see how the eyebrow changes, right? Cool. So that's going to be another setup we can do here with a global controls. But there is actually something inconsistent here. We have those smaller controllers, right? The spheres. Now, when we use those global controls, you can see the smaller spheres does not move with it, right? Now, that's not going to be very convenient, although they're doing their job, right? You can use those spheres to fine tune the shape. Right. The problem again is that they're not following when we move the bigger controllers. Right. So that does not feel like they're inside of a one system, even they are actually working together quite nicely. So in the next video, I want to show you how we can actually make those controllers to follow the skin. All right. See you next time.